Hey, what's up? This is Sean. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on setting up a Skype interview. Now, you don't have to do everything in this because it might get a little complex, uh, but these are just some things to consider. The first one that is, is actually pretty huge is audio. Now, in this particular case, I've got a USB mic that's plugged into my machine, and if you go into Skype and you just select your audio source and you point it to your USB mic, that's a great way to go. You could plug um, a microphone into the mic out on your laptop or your computer, um, but if you don't have an audio, uh, if you don't have an extra microphone, then consider the location of the interview. If you can be in a, in a room where the acoustics keep the audio in the room in a good way, then it might be able to uh, hear a little bit better. Um, and doing Skype interviews next to the freeway um, is usually a bad idea. Or next to airports on the tarmac is also another place that's not very good. So the first thing to consider is audio. Pick a location or get a U, uh, USB mic or something set up. The second thing is to consider lighting. Choose a room where it's bright and even if you want, you could add external lighting. In this particular video I'm making right now, I'm sitting right in front of a window so I have tons of light at Nighttime, I have a light right up here. I have a light that you can see it kind of changed the color of my face. I have a light right there, and then another light that I have back back there, and uh, that that lights me up. Just a little light like that, and a light just like that, a little clamp light. Videos work by light, and so consider the lights. Again, you don't have to go crazy if you don't have any lights, but if you can be in a room where there's some some light on you, and this back light's really nice. It creates dimension. It's called a hair light, um, and it separates you from your background. And the third thing is background, um, and as you can see right now. I, it just looks nasty behind me. There's light poles and, and everything. So, so pretty simply, I have uh, this sheet set up um, just to kind of make the background plain and easy. That makes for a nice background. Now I'm on a Logitech camera, and if you're going to be doing a lot of Skype interviews, you eventually might want to get a little better web camera. The link will be in the description down below. It does do 720p, not on Skype, but um, it, it can do that. And I can also zoom in with it, so uh, I could do that. Now a couple other rules to consider is one, uh, when you're doing uh, a video, you don't want your head to be in the middle of the screen like this. You actually want to be more in upper thirds, almost with your head uh, being cut off uh, about here. Uh, center doesn't look necessarily as cool as kind of being like a rule of thirds, you know, having some dimension. And as you can see, this is widescreen. Skype is actually square. It's 4-3 resolution when you're doing Skype. And the one other thing to consider, and it doesn't always turn out very well, is is that if... if um, the profile of, of me is, you know, chest to head like this. Then you kind of want the person you're interviewing to also have that same profile. It looks better when you record the video. If they're, um, you know, w full body like this, again, if, if you guys are about the same size, then uh, it looks the best. I haven't usually been able to get that one tweaked out, but that's another thing to consider. So those, um, that's kind of how you set up your Skype interview. Get, consider the audio. Consider the lighting. Consider the background, just that it would be cluttered or whatever and uh, consider your head placement and consider the size and shape of each person. Uh, for Think Media TV and Think International, we use the program VODBurner to capture our Skype interviews if you're interested in that. One other quick tip um, if you're producing Skype interviews yourself and you're wanting to do that is I take my video and I put it into my nonlinear video editor and I extract just the audio and then I use a program called Levelator which is free you can leave a donation but it's totally free and you just drop any audio file in it and it um, it normalizes it. it it does a hard limit it does just a combination of things to get the audio all the same level and um, all amplified to just the perfect volume and so a lot of times when I'm doing an interview I have two different levels of, of audio with um, the person I'm interviewing I can't ever quite get it perfect it's just a great way to just one fell swoop get things sounding as good as possible and so it's called the levelator and the link to that will be down below as well other than that if you have any questions uh, leave a comment below or message me at think media TV thanks for uh, checking out this uh, tutorial on how to set up Skype Rules have